Resting. No, I mean, where are we going? All my friends are going skiing. Oh, I don't know about that. But we haven't been on a proper holiday in ages. Well, things are a bit tough in the fishing game at the moment. Catches aren't what they used to be. I might have to put a few guys off. We are the only people I know who never go anywhere. They're expensive, Tim. How about I give Artie Val a call? We could go stay there. No, I mean a proper holiday. One with plane trips and luxury hotels. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to price one. I do have some money in the bank. Oh, thanks, darling. But it's my responsibility. I might look for a second job. Take up the slack. Good thinking. I know the Marine Park are hiring at the moment. And this is one of my first ever finds. A fish? It's a folly dophorus. Interesting, but common. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is my favourite. It's a fossilised nautilus. Very rare and very expensive. Are you sure you're interested in this? Yeah. What were you saying? Well, maybe you could tell me something about what you like to do. <laughs> I know you like singing. Oh yeah. Well, what do you want to write a song together? I, I, I don't know much about music. Well, I'll help you. It'll be something we can do together. Okay, so what should our song be about? Uh, the sea. Well, we could write a love song kind of a thing. Well, I think the sea would be better. I mean, no one ever writes about that. True, okay. So what do we know about the sea? It's big. Anything else? <laughs> It's full of fish and it's salty. Yeah, but well, how do you feel about it? Well, I mean, I like being in it. I just don't talk about it. Well, it's kind of the point of writing a song. You try to express something personal. I really thought about it like that. What about seashells? I like how they're hard and protective and well, you never know what you're going to find inside one. Yeah, that's, that's good. So, what's happening with Will? Everything between us is perfect. Oh, lucky you. Considering there's so much that we don't know about each other. It's more interesting that way. Yeah, I'm not sure that we have all that much in common. Is that a problem? No, you don't have to think the same on everything. Yeah. I've got to show you the new trick I taught Ronnie. Hmm, spend the day watching a dolphin do tricks or shopping for new shoes. Sorry, I think Ronnie misses out. Well, I'll have you know that my audience figures are up and Ronnie's show is the most popular exhibit now. Is that your dad? Dad! What are you doing here? Took your advice. Got an interview for a new job. Really? That's great. Doing what? Customer service. It's only part time. Just thought I'd try something different for a change. I gotta go meet the guys from the band. Already? Well, we have band things to discuss. So I guess I'd better leave you to it then. Yeah. You're so understanding. That's another reason I like you so much. Uh huh. See ya. Hey, I see you and Bella are pretty solid now. Yeah, what of it? Nothing. It's good. Oh, really, I'm pleased for you. Okay. And you're happy about her being alone with the band? Why wouldn't I be? No reason. Just, uh, don't make the same mistakes I did. What? I'm supposed to take advice from you. See, I didn't take enough interest in Ricky and her life. Girls like to be the centre of attention. And anyone that gives me trouble, I shall cut their hand off just like I lost my hand. 
to that great shark. What are you looking at? I don't like small girls. I throw them overboard. So you think you can put it over on Captain Dawn, do you? You're nothing but a bunch of yellow belly cowards. If any of you make so much as a move of a hair on your body, I'll skin you alive. I just need to have me a quick word with this fetching wench over here. You're a pirate. I'm no scurvy pirate, lass. I'm the captain. Captain, don't. You're going to be a pirate captain in front of people? What do you think? Am I scary enough? Ah, uh, well, maybe tone it down a little bit. I think the kids are frightened. I know, I'm just pretending. They're having fun. Are you sure? We don't want to be getting complaints from their parents. Well, just relax. Kids love this kind of thing. I won't forget Captain Don in a hurry. Well, okay. Well, I'll tone it down a little. Thanks, Dad. You mealy mouthed, flimp wristed sons of bank tellers! You're not worth a puddle of Delonia! How's about I tie you to the mast and let the girls pick out your eyeballs? Something. Oh, great stuff. Yeah, really like the um, little rhythm bit with the drums and the bass. Thanks. Although I'm not sure about the bit at the end, you know, where it just fades out. Yeah, that, that was my idea. I, I, thought, I thought the keyboards were a bit loud there too. I mean, you're starting to drown Bella out. Well, oh, maybe Bella should sing a bit louder. Well, what if you didn't blame that part at all? What if you didn't make stupid comments, you banana? We could talk about this later. I need to get some air. Well done. You really like it? Yeah. Your new flip's gonna have the audience on the edge of their seat. They'll be queuing up to get in already. moving over to the plank. It be near in your time to go pay yourself a visit to Davy Jones Locker. I got no time for lily-livered landlubbers. You soon be feeding the fish. So I am the captain of this ship and anyone who argues will be hung on and torn. Look, a mermaid. Who are you yapping at me, Hardy? There's a mermaid in the water. Ah, you've got a good imagination, matey. Now, which one of you mangy cares can tell me where the doubloons are? This is great. Come on down here, boy. You okay? Yeah, it's nothing. I just had a hard day at work. Arr, if you weren't such a fine looking lass, I'd be saying you're suffering from scurvy. I love it when you talk pirate. Ah, you want to mention. <laughs> uh, Dad, shouldn't you be getting to work on the trawler? Anything happen about our holiday, Dad? I'm working on it, sweetheart. Just need to be a bit patient. Well, can't you work harder? Dad's not a machine, Kim. Does anyone here actually care about my feelings? We don't need an expensive holiday. I think that working at the marine park is is too hard for you, Dad. Actually, I love it. It's such a relief from fishing. Well, I'm off to the trawler. 
I hope you get a better catch today. Me too. I kind of feel like going out. What do you reckon? Maybe you should rest your voice. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is me you're talking to. No, I, I mean it. You don't want to strain it. Oh, that isn't going to happen. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. It's just that you sounded a bit raw with your high notes. I did? Yeah. I don't know if it was sharp or flat, but it was, you know, rough. Right. Have you ever thought about doing more acoustic stuff? Well, I'm not really sure that that suits the band's image. Yeah. Have you ever thought about joining another band? Why? That Nate guy. You are so much more talented than he is. You should be the one in charge. Dad shouldn't be working two jobs, Kim, just so that you can have a holiday. You don't want him at work, do you? Admit it. You can't stand the competition. I've got to go. Make sure you let him sleep. Yeah. pirate snoring he's working two jobs if he's so tired why doesn't he give it up because he likes it isn't that a good thing the pirate ship is right next door to the dolphin show and I know this sounds really mean but no one came to my dolphin show yesterday I taught Ronnie all these new tricks and he did them to an empty house because everybody was watching Captain Don that kind of sounds like Will. I tried to include him in my music and suddenly he's an expert. Ooh, do I detect the first fight coming on? No, it'll be fine. You'll both be fine. Leo! Over here! <sighs> mm. Sorry, don't think I've woken up yet. You know, maybe you should... Great news. I've been promoted. You're not going to be a pirate anymore. No, too right I am. They've even given me a crew. Great. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Don't you want to start? Oh, uh, we've. Just had a band meeting. Without me? Well, it was about you. <laughs> and more precisely, your boyfriend. Oh? We think he should keep his opinions to himself. Oh, look, he didn't mean anything by it. Well, we think that boyfriends shouldn't be present at band rehearsal. Well, that's a bit unfair, isn't it? Considering none of you have boyfriends. Or girlfriends. Well, we just think he should keep his mouth shut. OK, I, I get the message. I'll speak to him. Yeah. And my keyboards weren't too loud. Come on. They don't want you there anymore. What about you? Well, I think it might be better that way. I just wanted to get involved. I know, and I appreciate that, but it's just it's not really your area. You don't want me to make comments? No, it's not that. I saw how bored you were the other day when I showed you my shell collection. I just thought I should show more interest in your life. No, I wasn't bored, exactly. I really like your collection. 
Especially this shell. It's a nautiloid fossil. Whatever, it's really cool. You don't have to pretend. No, I'm not pretending. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my best specimen. I didn't mean it. Yeah. It's just a shell. No, it's not just a shell. Bella. Did I miss it? Where is everyone? I thought this was meant to be a busy show. Everybody's off watching Captain Don. He's mutineers. Ooh, this is a rubber sword. I can't wait. It's serious. Hey, what's up? We just had our first argument. Oh, it's bound to happen. Come around. No, you don't understand. I accidentally broke his favourite fossil. Oh, that was painful. What do I do? Hello? You're a mermaid. want us to rethink the whole show. What? No, the dolphin show's always been popular. But if audiences don't come, then they're gonna have to cancel the show. trick I taught Ronnie. I didn't know you were rehearsing today. Uh, the show was cancelled, so... Where is everyone? Just a quiet day. This is my fault. Sorry I'm late. Had some important business to settle at the marine park. Do they want to pay you more money? Because <laughs> we need it for this place. 
Full-time position, more money, long-term contract. Very impressive. I told them maybe another time. I think Captain Don is about due to hang up his cutlass. He quit? I think there's only room for one Marine Park star in this home. Not to mention getting in some time with my family. I'm all for that. What about our holiday? Well, I might have to wait until next year. This is so unfair. I'm sorry, darling. I can't just take my girls anywhere. They deserve the best. It's an even better specimen. I aim to please. I guess I overreacted. I can't believe I listened to Zane. It doesn't matter. So, are we cool? Yeah. I don't think we need to try so hard. We already have heaps in common. Not intruding, am I? No, come in. I just wanted to say... That's the best dolphin flip I've ever seen. <laughs> and you make a pretty good pirate, Captain Dad. <laughs> Not sure the crew of my trawler would agree. They're going to have to work harder to keep us above water. You know, Dad, if things are tough in the fishing game, I can help out. Don't you worry about it. Sam's offered to help out too. Well, I can shoulder some of the responsibility for this family. I keep having to remind myself of how grown up you've become. You know, Dad, I didn't really mind having you be the star attraction. It just... I know. But I did. I've got an idea for you. 